Good morning, Honor Specialist 2020 Teacher Delegate. So, uh, this is the first time I'm actually talking to you through the same technology some of you probably have been using for the past three months with your various classes around Ontario. So, I wanted to uh, take a moment to say hi and I tell you that just like you, I greatly enjoy teaching science. I am going to talk about the seminars. So, as you know, the seminars are going to be taking place on the week of July 20th with three seminars on the Monday and two seminars on the Tuesday. If you have not found it yet, this document, this calendar that I have, gives an outline of everything that we're doing day by day. The yellow represents the days that modules have been assigned. However, you are not responsible for completing the discussion forums for that online. That is an effort to give you more time to work on both your seminars and your unit plan. I want to make sure that you have good chunks, full days to work on that. However, you are still also working through the lessons, the content that are in Module 3, Module 6, Module 8, Module 12, Module 13. But those five modules, you're no longer officially responding to in the discussion forum. Of course, you are welcome to do so, and I'm going to critique as if you were, not your comment specifically, but if there had been a discussion, the kind of things that I would have said. Now, with the seminars, the seminars you're presenting to your peers in this class, and you're also presenting to teachers in the senior additional qualification course. There are 28 and 29 teachers in that course. Some of you, uh, three of you, have already done the um, discussion forum critical read review, so you have an idea of what kind of conversations with that many teachers. As you can imagine, there's going to be quite a bit of conversation going on. Now, for this seminar, if you go through this announcement, you'll see I've given you a link, and this link here provides you to a YouTube video of they come an into the earlier version of how you might set up a seminar. So this is one form. I specifically kind of blurred it out so you can't just take all the... Uh, just to make it a little easier for you to not be put blinders on so that you think this is the format you have to follow. So, but it gives you a general idea of how you could set it up. And I have also um, given you a space. So if you click on this link here, what I'll do is I'll open up the space on the Google Drive that will look something like this and you'll see each of your seminar folders. Inside of that folder, you'll see a Google Doc, and that's where you can start your conversation, right? And so I can follow along. If you have another type of technology that you would like to use to have that conversation, that's fine. Do your best to, um, if it's a Google Meet or something like that, maybe you can have a, a person who's just writing down a couple minutes, and, and then you can share that script or transcript so I can see what the conversation looks like, because. That is a part of the collaboration that I'm looking for, that I'm assessing and putting into the overall mark. The um, other thing I wanted to show you was uh, just um, last year. So here's last year's. So you have a feel for what it will look like. So on one day, there'll be three. On the other day, there'll be two. And this will be set up in the senior qualification course, not our course. And you have access to the course. And at some point, I'll create the discussions. And then each team could go in and set it up. And so I'm just going to click on one to give you an idea of how you could, I've shown you one in the video, but here's another one that you can see. So I click on this collaborative seminar, for example, and you'll see the presenters that I create this part here, and then there'll be like an introduction. And in some of the teams, what they did is they, they uh, created a Google Slides or another type of presentation. So I'm going to click on this link here. When I click on this link, it's going to open up this collaborative learning in small groups. So they set up their seminar in a presentation format and in the presentation they embedded their videos, they embedded their questions and on here when you're looking to get the group to, to have a discussion as opposed to using the discussion forum method from the discussion board inside the platform we're using for OISE, they created links that went to Google Docs that drove the, um, the conversation, right? And each person as they came in, they color-coded, and then they 
um, I had the conversation here. So this is a great method. Most of us are very familiar with the Google Docs, either through using it as a accessory to the Google Classroom or whatever. I mean, a lot of learning platforms use Google Docs because it's one of the de facto best um, collaborative spaces to work in. And as I keep on going through their document, you'll see more links to TED Talks, more links to YouTube videos, more links to questions, and more links to places where they could have that collaborative discussion. So this is a really good method as well. It's a more modern method, the discussion forum method of where you create discussion forums inside the platform and then answer is a little clunky. It's a little more, you know, five years, six years ago, but whatever method that your group is most comfortable with is perfectly fine. All right. So I hope that you guys have a good time creating this seminar. Uh, you don't have a lot of time. This is a very intense course, as you're probably seeing from the schedule. In our schedule here, uh, next week, Monday and Tuesday and Thursday, Mondays is a relatively large module around assessment, and uh, Tuesdays a it's bigger than the modules we've done in one and two. And seven is around inquiry. Six is a really big module, but you're incorporating most of that into the unit plan. So um, you still have time to absorb what's going on and then embed that into the unit plan. And then of course, technology. Many of you over the past three months have had a workshop on technology. Um, I'm gonna try to update this to reflect some of the things that have happened in the past three months. So it'll be a little bit more modern, of course. Um, we have a seminar group that is doing technology, I believe, so they might share some things as well. That will lead us into Monday and Tuesday. And then our leadership, so this is hopefully going to be a very rich discussion. Some of you are in leadership positions already. Many of you are aspiring to be leaders in your schools or in your boards, or even bigger, the province. Uh, the inclusive classroom, uh, this is where we're going to uh, probably uh, change a little bit from the original conversation that's in here into maybe a little bit of the streaming that many of you talked about on the first day and talking about why we're going back to the streaming, what's the purpose, looking at anti-black racism and looking at FNMI aspects, which are buried in some other parts of this course in module 13, but the inclusive classroom, looking at diversity in terms of gender. Someone mentioned that if we could look at gender as well, um, looking at uh, everything. And then we get into the last week of the course, right? It's so intense. The last week of the course, on the Monday, we're looking at budget and timetabling. So if you're going to a leadership position, that's a very important responsibility, of course. And uh, in some schools, you don't get the timetables as ahead. Uh, sometimes the administration takes care of that. Uh, many schools ahead is a key player in the uh, timetabling of the, the science staff. And then on Tuesday, the unit plan is due, so it's submitted. You have an opportunity to look at each other's unit plans. You, realistically, you should be taking everybody's unit plans as a nice little package and then bring them off back to your school, back to your own personal place where you can modify them and use them. And then on the very last day, we're looking at relationships. It's appropriate for the last day. And uh, there is a, a discourse-based forum on there. So I'll be looking that you complete that. And that's it. So it's a three-week course. Right. Uh, I know that there's other places that run it over six weeks, and so it's not nearly as intense. Some of your colleagues that you might be talking to or doing this, and they, they hear what you're doing on any given day, you're doing twice as much, if not more, but our course is, is much reduced. Um, but it does allow you to hopefully enjoy more of your summer, and in those three weeks we're together, that's really intense. It's amazing the growth that will happen. I don't normally do Google, uh, sorry, Zoom meetings, um, conferences. I will put out a survey or poll to ask you if you'd like me to set up an hour here, an hour there. Most of you take this particular platform because you're teaching summer school or doing some other responsibilities with your kids. And so for you all to meet at a certain time is sometimes challenging, but we can do that if you let me know. There's only uh, 16 of us in this class, 15 of us in this class. So if you uh, think we can figure out a time where we do have a, a meet and you can ask me questions or we can have some kind of discussion that's a little bit more back and forth, especially after the last few months. Many of you are more used to having these kind of conversations, then I'm happy to do that. So you let me know if that's something you'd like to do. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic Friday and enjoy your weekend.